The Messianic era and the reconstruction of the Jewish temple have a strong correlation. The rebuilding of the temple is of utmost importance as it is the site from which the Messiah, commonly known as Jesus, will govern the world and establish his rule as the center of his kingdom. Two temples have been constructed in the history of Israel, both of which were located on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Before these temples, a tent known as the Tabernacle was used. King Solomon of Israel built the first temple, but it was eventually destroyed in the 586 BC when the Israelites were exiled to Babylon. Throughout history, two temples have been built in the Israel on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, excluding the Tabernacle, which was a portable tent used before the first temple was constructed. King Solomon of Israel built the first temple, but it was later destroyed in 586 BC after the exile of Israel to Babylon. The second temple, also known as Herod's Temple, was built between 538 and 515 BC, with later modifications made by Herod before the birth of Jesus. According to Matthew 24, 1 and 2, Jesus prophesied that the Romans would demolish the second temple in 70 AD, and this prophecy was fulfilled. Since that time, the temple has not been reconstructed. The Temple Mount in Jerusalem, the site of the former Jewish temple, is now occupied by Muslim structures, including the Dome of the Rock built in 691 AD and the Al-Aqsa Mosque dating to 1033 AD. As a result, rebuilding the Jewish temple at this location is not currently possible unless these structures are removed or the Muslims give up control of the Temple Mount. The lack of a third temple is frequently linked to the Prophet Ezekiel's vision of the temple in Ezekiel 40:44 and if it weren't for the Muslim structures on the site, it may have already been built. During the time period from 586 BCE to the reconstruction of the Second Temple by Zerubbabel and Ezra, there were many prophets from the Old Testament who wrote books that were influential in shaping the Jewish history and religion. One such book is Haggai, and in particular the passage of Haggai 1, 1 to 15 which describes the rebuilding of the Second Temple and the challenges faced by the Jewish people during that time. Despite the significance of these events, they did not mark the start of the Messianic Era or the Millennium, which is a period of peace and prosperity that is expected to occur before the end of the world. At present, the preparation for the construction of the Third Temple are ongoing, and many people within the Jewish community are actively working towards this goal. Despite some challenges and obstacles, the desire to build a third temple remains a powerful and important aspect of the Jewish tradition and religion. For many years, the temple organization in Jerusalem has been preparing for the construction of the third temple by creating various tools and other necessary items. In 2015, they completed the construction of an altar, which enabled them to restart the practice of offering sacrifices. In 2017, they reenacted the Passover sacrifice. However, their action caused controversy when they performed the sacrifice in close proximity with the Temple Mount, leading to the arrest of some members of the organization in 2018. Despite this, they were eventually granted permission to reenact the Passover sacrifice at the foot of the Temple Mount. This week, the Temple's Institute's plan to build a third temple passed an important milestone. Despite the expectation that it would face obstacles, the project has continued to move forward. The Temple Institute made headlines when five red heifers were flown from Texas to Jerusalem to enable the resumption of the Temple sacrifices. The heifers were donated by Christian groups in Texas who understood that according to Numbers 19, 2-10, a specific heifer is required to be sacrificed and its ashes used to make the water of purification, which must be consumed by priests before they can offer sacrifices. In the past, finding a red heifer that met the necessary requirements was challenging. The requirements was that the heifer should have no marks or blemishes, which could indicate aging. As a cow grow older, some of their hair may change color to white or black, which the rabbis considered a flaw and deemed the animal unsuitable for use in temple sacrifices. For the Jewish community, the red heifers are necessary to purify the priest so that they can perform sacrifices in future temple. This is in preparation for what they believe will be the arrival of the Messiah. 
However, some Christian groups interpret 2 Thessalonians 2-4 to mean that the construction of the third temple is a requirement for the arrival of the man of sin. By providing the red heifers, they hope to hasten the end of the world. In paradoxical way, what they want to occur more quickly will likely have negative consequences for the Jewish community and the rest of the world. Although the Temple Institute is considered a marginal and extreme organization with Israeli society, many evangelical Christians support their work, and they believe construction of the Third Temple is necessary to fulfill biblical prophecy. Despite the fact that their ideas about the end of the world and the coming of the Messiah diverge, both groups seem to overlook this discrepancy. However, it remains unclear whether the Bible explicitly states that the construction of a temple is a sign of the Christ's return. The Bible is somewhat ambiguous on the topic of the Third Temple, leaving room for interpretation. Following the demise of Alexander the Great's empire, it was divided into four smaller territories, each governed by one of his generals, as mentioned in the book of Daniel 8.8. In the Seleucid Empire, a ruler named Antiochus gained power and was in charge of the Jewish people. Under his rule, it became illegal to worship the true God, as described in Daniel 8.11-12. According to Daniel, these events will occur at the end of times, as mentioned in Daniel 12.9. He also stated from the moment that the daily sacrifices are stopped and the abomination of the desolation is established, the end will be near. The return of Jesus Christ is linked to the stopping of daily sacrifices, which is said to happen 1,290 days before the arrival, according to Daniel 12.11. For this reason, the activities of the Temple Institute, which aim to restart daily sacrifices, are significant. The idea of the Third Temple being built in Jerusalem is a topic that has been debated by religious scholars and individuals for years. According to some interpretations of the Bible, the Temple described in the book of Daniel, Ezra, and Ezekiel will be built in the end times before Christ's return. Some believe that the temple must be built as a prerequisite for the fulfillment of certain prophetic events mentioned in the Bible. On the other hand, there are others who interpret the passage differently and believe that a physical temple is not necessary for the fulfillment of these prophecies. In 2 Thessalonians 2, 3-4, there is a prophecy about the man of sin taking up the residence in the temple of God. Some believe that this refers to the physical temple that must be built in Jerusalem, while others interpret that it is referring to the spiritual temple, which is made up of believers in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. The New Testament also teaches that the true temple of God is the church, made up of those who believe in Jesus and have the Holy Spirit. The idea of the third temple being built has gained momentum in recent years, with many groups actively researching and preparing for the resumption of temple worship services. The Temple Institute in Jerusalem, for example, has made over 60 sacred vessels that will be used in the temple and is actively working on the construction of a temple that meets modern standards. Despite this, the construction of a third temple remains a highly debated and controversial topic, with different religious groups having their own opinion on matter. So that is all about the video. If you do like the video, feel free to click the like button and also feel free to comment below your thought. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.